Welcome to the next installment in my video lecture series in economics. And in this particular video lecture, we're going to be taking a look at the short run and long run incidents of an expenditure program. And this is important because if you have an expenditure program, like for example here, we're going to be giving subsidies for housing to individuals and seeing the impact. We have to take a look at what's the impact in the short run and what's the impact in the long run. And remember, in the short run, supply has a tendency to be inelastic, unresponsive, unre i.e. a dramatic change in price will not change quantity too much, while in the long run, it is more elastic. Okay, Quantity will be much more responsive to price than it was in the short run. So let's take a, take a look at that impact here. So we have a demand curve that is, exists prior to a housing subsidy being given out by the government government gives out a housing subsidy, it's going to increase the demand for housing. So we have a new equilibrium in the short run. And as you can see here, because in the short run, the supply curve is inelastic, i.e. quantity is unresponsive or less responsive to changes in price, the change that is manifested here most is the price. You can see here there is a dramatic change in the price because of the subsidy. But the quantity of housing does not change that much. So in the short run, individuals who want to rent, there's only a fixed supply of the housing that's available. So new housing has to come on the market and it has to take time. You have to build new housing in order to meet that. So realize that in the short run, the incidence of this is that if we put a subsidy on housing, or common housing accommodations, in the short run, the biggest manifestation is going to be the price, and there will be little impact on the quantity of housing that's available. However, we take a look at this in the long run, the supply curve is more elastic, i.e. quantity is more responsive to a change in the price. If we take a look at that equilibrium, we can see that the equilibrium price increases, but not as much as it did in the short run. This occurs because more housing is going to be brought onto the market in the long run versus the short run as as landlords and the companies who own apartment complexes build more housing in a particular market and as you can see with the quantity the quantity increase is much greater so in the short run this subsidy will do very little for the quantity of housing available in the market but in the long run it'll induce a much greater increase and the quantity supplied of housing in the market, and the price will be moderated in the long run compared to the short run because of that. 